70s. <laughs> and uh, they were already there, but fortunately, Pastor and Eva Floor were there early. And so they said, oh, come on, sit with us. And so, I, because I didn't want them to feel abandoned. But see, they were there. And to them, if it starts at 7, they said, well, uh, we'll be there 15 minutes to 7. And I wasn't. Yeah. And uh, but I do know people are notoriously late. People came in way after I did. And, oops. Sorry about that. I don't always drive this way. <laughs> oh, this is real close. Yeah, it is. And you know, yeah. Uh, yeah he, he got lucky. Yeah, he did. Uh, I shouldn't be going this fast. Well, you know, we're just missing the talking part. As long as we don't miss the eating part. Well, and actually, we won't miss all the talking. We'll miss a little uh, Yeah. And sometimes they get so full, they have to bring in extra chairs to the back. Really? Oh, yeah. Because it's Easter? Yeah, because it's a special event and because of the breakfast. And they have two dining rooms. Yeah, I've never been down this road. It's, yeah, uh, There's know, a lot more going on than I, I thought. I thought it would be fun to... So what, is there a bunch of houses here? Or are these... What are they? all the cars. I don't see them. Well, tell me we're early. No, I don't think we are. But we got to walk down to the other. Oh, the park here. there's this another one. This is the dining rooms. Wow, this is here, a... we got to walk down to the other. This is a big, kind of sprawling place. Yeah. Oh, where did I put my hat? Oh, somehow I locked this. Okay. I'm sorry, I did it already. Okay. Okay, that's where most of the cars are. But see, by walking, we won't have to worry about... We don't have to worry about parking. It still yeah. doesn't look too busy. I guess a lot of people are going to be fashionably late. To, uh, they're still coming in. Uh, it is nice here. They got a general store in here. <laughs> oh, this is a, that Christian camp he went to. Uh, Yeah. Wow, this is kind of neat. Each year, and they got a swimming pool, all that. See, people are still coming in. This is their little deck for you. They got a, a hoop court. Vending machines. <laughs> yeah. So this is a, wow, this is camp, huh? Uncomfortable. How's it going, people? Well, I just got back from Sunday service. It's the first time I've stepped foot in a church in like a, well, since my grandmother's uh, memorial service, and that was, that wasn't much fun. This was pretty terrible, too. <laughs> um, young preacher with a shrill voice, um, very much infatuated with the sayings of Ray Comfort. I got to uh, hear the old chestnut about, would I take a million dollars for my right eye in his sermon, and, uh, oh, oh, have I ever told a lie? Then, <laughs> fucking liar. So, on the bright side, nice breakfast, nice people. I mostly kept my mouth shut, or I kept my comments neutral. <sighs> it's just the way it's got to be. I mean, they're nice people, at least until they find out what uh, who they're talking to. <laughs> anyway, I thought I might go out and do some DNC now. But it's the first time I've been in church in a while. I thought that was uh, noteworthy. It was... Uh, it was tough. I mean, a lot of credulity there. A lot of people with children. Obviously, kids didn't understand a word being said, but it's um, later on, the programming's there. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, this is like a Bible camp where we go, went to. And, uh, it's like a beautiful compound. Anyway, I got some video. You'll see. So, hope you'll check out some DNC now.
and had a nice Easter. Peace. Fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Bye. Deer. They're all waiting for mom to feed them. Where's the other one? There he is. Oh, he's along the fence. He's probably invisible. Yeah. Oh, two of them. Wow, they're piling up. There are... Let's see if I can see them. Yeah, hang on. Don't want to scare them. Looks like there's like four or five of them, best I can tell. They'll run from me probably, but they won't run from my mom. She's a lady with a yellow plastic bucket full of good stuff. all of them. I've seen as many as like a dozen deer all all out in that one spot. Mom's refuge. There's the deck uh, I helped build. I hope I'm not chasing the deer off. Mom's bringing food. And yeah, we had to build it around an existing stone structure. That was interesting. It's the steps of the original one, just slightly sticking out. And, yeah. Look how we had to conform it around the, yeah, came out okay. I'm having a beer on that railing tonight. I think I spooked the does. Now they're all looking behind the car barn. Like, is he leaving? Good. I think I'm spooking them. Or they're not used to seeing mom dressed up. <laughs> She's just in a bathrobe with a hoodie. No Skittles though, so she's probably all right. They'll be back. Get their grub on. That yellow bucket. She says if you're carrying a yellow bucket, they they know you're there for their good. Otherwise they'd run from her too. They just grew up with that yellow bucket. Uh, I don't know how many deer generations now. <sighs> obvious and droll puns. Yeah, they're coming back out. There's one of the youngins. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, there's more now. They're jumping over the fence. Yeah. I don't know if you can even see them, but I'll find out later. Yep, there's another one coming over the fence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think I see another one uh, in the brush back there. It's 
It's amazing how they get over that fence with just a standing jump. Yeah. Straight good. up in the air. For the longest time, those little ones just It's like they're spring loaded. Boy, they're mean to each other. Oh, it's like, hey, are. you get out of the way, I'm eating very, now. Especially this time of year. They're very mean to They're very surly. Especially to the little ones. They push the little ones away. Yeah. Uh, the mushrooms are very protective. Were up until about now. Yeah, this I thought only mothers. people were jerks to each other. This is spring and the mothers will be having their babies in a couple of months, so they're not even as nice to their babies anymore. Although I have to say Star Lady is still really, really sweet to both, even though he's a boy. I mean, well, I guess that's their reminder, of, you know, she's hey. She's just a good mother. You know, life is harsh, and mm -hmm. here's, a little, here's a little taste of that harshness, so you get used to it. But if the baby, if the baby is a boy, normally the mothers will kick them out a little sooner. And what's interesting is normally there is an older buck, like a couple of years older, mm -hmm. that'll hang around and mentor him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, I've seen that. Now, see, uh, uh, Bentley is there. Kind of like Bambi, you know? Yeah, Bentley is there, and he kind of hangs around so that as the boys are kind of kicked off, pushed away, uh, or even sometimes the girls finally, it's about time for them to kind of push the girls away, even some. But mm -hmm. uh, he kind of extra nice to, you know, they can kind of hang with him, and he can kind of mm -hmm. continues to keeping an eye on them and big brothering them. Yeah, and he's usually, been through it too. Usually there is um, a kind of a teenage doe also that is a little bit too young to breed that will pick up the girls. It, it is interesting. Wow. They do. You could do a study on this. Well, but, except for feeding time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they push them every, away at feeding time. Every deer for itself. Mm -hmm. No one's that deer. I think I counted like seven, maybe eight. Yeah. They're kind of moving and... Yeah, and a lot of them are in shadow, so it's hard to see. Yeah, they're so well camouflaged. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's seven. And probably more will arrive. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Any... And they're just as curious about you as you are about them. Yeah, I'm just trying not to spook them if I can help it. Uh -huh. They're probably wondering, should I get spooked yet? Mm -hmm. Well, they run from me a lot, too. And then they'll come back, you know. Sure. Because flight is what they do. That's how they protect themselves. Yeah, think about it later when you got time. Mm -hmm. Then they'll come back after they realize that, oh, I'm the one that carries that yellow bucket. Yep, that's how you That's how you move faster in the speed of thought. You don't think mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we could turn that water on, couldn't we? We could try. Mm -hmm. Let's see if uh, my little experiment worked. We have to kind of uncover it first. Yeah. Hopefully it was wrapped good enough. Mm 